Hey guys, I'm Dan. Welcome back to my studio, which is known as the basement, Dino Dungeon. So today we are going to take a look at some of these figures right here. These are basically animal figurines from you know the Kinder Surprise Eggs. I'm trying to collect the entire set, which is why I've bought like you know two um two more sets. After we have completed these sets, I think we can actually display them on this little shelf which we are going to build um, over here but we can only install them on the 26th of uh, March which is like a couple of days um, away So um, yes, hopefully we are able to get um, more figures As you guys can see, we still need the Flamingo I'm not too sure what other figures are inside this set but seems like we have majority of them and hopefully we don't get more doubles, okay? So I've washed my hands um, and we'll be opening them. We'll put all the chocolates into this little container right here and the figures will display them, okay? So let's begin. After this video, I'm gonna give you guys like an update of the Dino Dungeon, okay? Because we have like lots of cool stuff that's going on on Den Surprise as well as Den Safari. So let's begin. Alright guys, so you can see, each box actually contains like three, oh no, four, four eggs and um, of course they are like chocolate eggs and inside there are like figures, pretty cute figures I would say, to be honest, oh my goodness, you, oh dear, the chocolate seems to be damaged, yeah, I don't think this is edible, this is, I don't think this is edible for sure. So I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna keep this piece at least because it seemed to be broken already. So um, let's have a look at our first figure. I think this is um, the fox face rabbit fish if I'm not wrong. So this is actually um, um, the same figure that we already have but I think it's fine. It's still a pretty cool figure. You can see it has a very nice base. Okay, it doesn't have a checklist, which is quite a pity Because if you take a look at the back, we already have um, the kangaroo We have the bunny We don't have the chimpanzee yet I think this is the one that we are trying to get We don't have the flamingo as well, hopefully we are able to get them um, So, yep, let's move on Okay, I think majority of the eggs are already broken So I definitely need to get like a refund This chocolate's doesn't seem to be um, fresh. Right, let's open this up. Okay, it seems to be the same figure again, which is um, the Macaw. So let's fix this together. It's quite a cute one, I would say. But we are hoping to get the new one, not, uh, you know, this, which are basically like repeats of what we already have. Hopefully you can get the monkey really soon. So this is the blue parrot basically. Very cute and adorable. Okay, let's get the other two eggs out from the box. But you can see they are also damaged. So um yeah, I feel I should be able to get a refund. It's um or you know at least get a, like a replacement. I don't think these chocolates are edible. I don't feel safe eating them to be honest. Because they are already like broken. Yep, so Okay, let's have a look at this Oh, we've got a new one Finally, it's a lion Okay So it's a lion So how do we fix this? This seems to be pretty easy Wait a minute, I think I have to um, assemble the body first Like this And just pop it right in. I feel the figures from you know Kinder Surprise they are actually pretty well done. The body of this lion can move, so it's pretty cool. Okay, so let's take a look at this egg right here. This one definitely, you know, do you guys think these chocolates are still edible? I'm not too sure. I don't. I don't want to take the risk. Uh, hopefully, the other boxes are are okay. So we have a, a black horse, a black forest horse, I think. This one is a, a very beautiful figure, I would say. Wow, it seems to be pretty complicated when it comes to the assembly because I've totally forgotten how to actually assemble this. But let's try this again. I 
think this is like the front part, if I'm not wrong. And um, this, it's basically the hind legs, like this. And just pop this right in as well. I'll just zoom in a little bit for you guys to see. Yeah, maybe we can just close this first. Just snap it on. Yep, I think this way is so much easier. You see, can see my hands are actually dirty with um the chocolate. It's like flaky and um dirty. So yep. So today we've we've got a new one, which is a cool thing. And this three are basically some of the duplicates that we have. So let's open up this box as well. Okay. Okay, I think this box is actually slightly better. It is not as um, flaky. This one, I think it's definitely edible. Yep, so I'm gonna open this and put the chocolate into um, this little bowl that I prepared. And I think we can still eat the chocolates. Okay, let me just get this out. I'm gonna try the chocolate right now and let you guys know whether it's tasty, okay? Yep, it's soft and nice. It's definitely um, edible. This is the bunny. I think you guys can actually scan this and um, play like a little game. We've got this bunny, so it's another repeat, I would say. How do we fix this? Wow, the chocolate is really tasty. Not kidding you. You have to snap it onto its body. So I think we've, we've done the wrong way. Put it this way. Just pop it right in. Yep. Very cute. This bunny is basically the same as um, the other one. Just gonna put this right here. Let's open this up as well. remove this little aluminum foil that protects the chocolates so I think in one of the previous videos you guys actually asked me whether I'm whether did I wash my hands yet yes I did yeah my hands are pretty clean I would say it's a fair bit of chocolate right here as well yes we finally got the flamingo guys this is a cool one that we've been trying to get. So we finally get it. The flamingo. Nice. So let's fix this. Okay. I think you just have to like snap it right in. Like this. Pretty simple. And just pop in the legs right here should be this way very nice flamingo let's get the other egg out see there's a lot of um, bits and pieces of um, the chocolate on my table so it's kind of like messy I think it's okay I'm gonna clean it up later on otherwise it will attract ants for sure so let's have a look at this I think we got a pink dolphin the pink dolphin is one which we already have 
this can be quite easily assembled. So you pick the dolphin, and this is basically like the base. Just pop it right in. Easily done. One last one from the box. Let me just peel off this plastic film. Okay, this time we've got a um, chameleon, which is also a repeat of um, you know the one that we, we already have, so it's kind of disappointing for sure. There's no choice I guess. Pop it right in. So you have to attach this chameleon onto um this stick right here it's not easy i remember i you know i took quite a long time to actually fix it so i'm gonna put this aside first shall we open up another box since you know we have time let's do another box okay guys so let's continue so i've basically opened the boxes as you guys can see the eggs are actually quite badly damaged but i wouldn't say they are bad i think they're still edible i would say so let me just remove this Okay, I feel they are definitely edible for sure because the chocolate feels kind of um, still soft you know not not like the first pack which was like super brittle and um, powdery I don't feel safe eating them for sure but for the remaining boxes I think they are okay so let's open this up it's another pink dolphin so let's just quickly fix it yep quickly fix it Just pop it right in and this is basically like the water it's a stand basically let's open this as well i think the only figure we are now looking for it's um the chimpanzee the monkey i don't think we have we have it so if we can get that uh it will be awesome The chocolates taste really good to be honest. I feel like eating one more, but it's very hard for me to speak while I'm eating, so I wouldn't advise. <laughs> I wouldn't advise myself to do that right now. I'll just have the chocolates to share with my family. Oh, what is this? It's a kangaroo. Yep, the kangaroo. Check this out, guys. Yep, this is the kangaroo which we already have. So I think that the only figure which I mean we are missing is basically the monkey. So um how do we fix this kangaroo? Wow. I think this is pretty tough guys. I have totally forgotten how to fix this kangaroo. I think this goes in right here. Doesn't seem to be that difficult so should be okay just pop this in and we should be good there you go very nice kangaroo it has a movable body which is awesome so kangaroos can be found in like australia new zealand i think especially australia there are plenty of um, wild kangaroos out there. Okay. Let's get this out. Oh, we've got the chameleon again, again guys. So let's not fix this. I'm gonna put this aside first. Let's have a look at this. Okay, this one is quite hard for me to open. Okay. 
I don't think we'll be getting any more Kinder eggs right I mean in the future because I think we have majority of the figures already so this is basically the lion okay this lion is actually quite easy to assemble all you need to do is um, fix the body first just pop it right in and this can be just snap snap right in and it has a movable upper torso which is kind of cool the lion is basically it's one of my most favorite animals um carnivorous animals the lion is definitely one of them my most favorite herbivorous animal it should be the rhinoceros because it reminds me of um styracosaurus do you guys know styracosaurus the dinosaur yep I mean, if you guys also follow me on Dan Surprise, which is our main channel, you will know that I'm a huge fan of um, dinosaurs. So, yep. Let's open this. Hopefully, we are able to get the monkey. Oh, this time we've got another flamingo. So, let's have a look at the beautiful picture of the flamingo, shall we? Nice. The flamingo, it's pretty easy to fix. This is already like half fixed for us. Yep. So flamingos, they can be seen in flocks. Plenty of flamingos, you know, in a lake. It's actually quite common to see them in one huge group. Okay, this one is a bit more powdery and flaky, I would say. And you can see like chocolate pieces stuck to... Um... Okay, we've got another fox face rabbit fish. Okay, let's see. Yep, quite a nice one. You can't rotate it. It doesn't have any movement. So I, I feel this is a fox face rabbit fish, but I'm not exactly sure. I mean, if you guys think it's not a fox face rabbit fish, maybe some kind of other types of fish, you can let me know down below. Our last two ones. Okay, let's have a look. Um, we've got a mountain lion. Yep, it's another duplicate. So, unfortunately. <laughs> We are not able to get our, I would say, our monkey. I think it's very, it's gonna be super difficult for us to get the monkey. I think so. I'll be quite sad about that, to be honest. But I don't think we, there's a choice. Yep, here's the mountain lion. Do we fix this the right way? Yep, there you go. It has a slightly movable right part of its body. So mountain lions, I think you can also call this like a puma. Our last egg of the day, guys. Let's have a look. Do you think it's possible for us to get the monkey that we are trying to get? Hopefully, guys. Hopefully. Wow. These eggs are really, really super broken. <gasps> oh my goodness! <laughs> the last one is actually the one that we have been waiting for. So, yep, we finally get it. But do you guys know, like, you know, maybe we should keep one of this um, leaflet, right? And we can see whether there are other animals that we are missing. Probably not, because 
right here on the table, there are like so many of them. We probably completed the entire set. Yeah, but have a look at this. Cute little... It could be like a spider monkey. Super adorable. And this is the tree. I think you have to um, put it like this. Snap it into like a big tree. It comes in two parts. And um, the monkey is supposed to be holding on to the... Wow, fits perfectly. Very cool. Not exactly sure. It could, it could be a gibbon. Yeah, it's very nice. It's really, really so cool. So we have opened every single egg right now. So, um, yeah. Unfortunately, I mean, fortunately, we, we've actually got like two... Oh, sorry, three. Three new species in our collection. So... That's pretty cool, okay? So thanks for watching this, guys. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. And um, yeah, let me know whether you guys want me to continue um, buying these Kinder eggs and opening them for you to see. Let me know down below because I don't think there are... Do you guys think there are more animals that we can collect? I don't think so because we, we, we basically have every single figure that has been shown on um, the packaging. So not too sure whether there are more figures for us to collect. I don't think so. So, I mean, if you guys have any information about Nettoons, do let me know, okay? Thanks for watching this. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.